Keeping the Boston Marathon safe and secure. Tens of thousands of people will arrive from Monday's race very soon, which you can only see here on WBZ TV. And this morning, authorities tried to reassure everyone this race will be a safe one as WBZ. Boston Athletic Association held a public safety news conference Thursday morning from the FanFest stage in Copley Square Park. As we look forward to next Monday. That will be 1,099 days since we last had a Patriots Day marathon here in Boston, and we can't wait. Officials from the FBI, Homeland Security, and State Police joined BAA President and CEO Tom Grilk, reiterating there aren't any known credible threats to the marathon days after the New York subway shooting. We know the Tuesday shooting in the New York City subway has caused understandable concerns of the residents of this Commonwealth. But I can assure you that the State Police and our law enforcement partners remain vigilant, and we are well prepared to respond to any situation. With 30,000 runners and thousands of spectators descending upon the city for the first Patriots Day edition of the marathon since 2019, law enforcement officials say they plan to have all hands on deck, putting into practice some measures that will be visible to the public and others that won't be. The message they're stressing to the public, if you see something, say something. We are sharply focused on identifying and stopping any potential threats. As life slowly gets back to normal and special events kick into high gear, I can't stress enough that this is not the time for complacency, especially now that everyone is resuming attendance at large venues and public gatherings. Also starting today, low-altitude helicopter flights are going to begin conducting an aerial radiation assessment survey over the route until those flights are a normal part of security and emergency preparedness activities. Reporting in Boston, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.